All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at finding the area of rectilinear shapes by counting the squares. A rectilinear shape is a shape that's made up of rectangles and squares. Okay, so if you have a look at uh, question A here, it says draw a rectangle 8 by 5. So we'll start off uh, by drawing our rectangle 8 by 5. Uh, we can go 8 down, so there's 1... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that's right. And then we go uh, five across. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then we go back up. Whoops. Sorry. And then we go back up. And there is our rectangle 8 by 5. Just fix that up a bit. Okay, so you can see that along this side here, we've got 8. And along this side and this side, we have 5. In a rectangle, the opposite sides are always equal. So if this side is 8, then this side must be 8. All right. So let's draw another rectangle, 5 by 4. Okay, so another rectangle, 5 by 4. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And, whoop, and 1, whoop. Okay, so we have our second uh, rectangle here. We have uh, 5 down and 4 across. And again, with uh, rectangles, the opposite sides are always equal. So if I know that this side is 5, then I know that this side must be 5. If I know that this side is 4, I know that this side must be 4. Okay, so now to calculate the area of both these triangles, all we need to do is count the squares inside. So uh, we could count each individual square. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. However, obviously, there's an easier way to do that. And the easier way to do that is to take the uh, 8, uh, which is one side, multiply it by 5, which is the other side. And if you know the 8 times table or the 5 times table, you should know that that equals 40. All right, so 5 times 8 mean, uh, equals 40, so that means that the area of this rectangle is 40 centimeters squared. All right, and we've got our reminder up here. We call it centimeters squared because it's using two dimensions. It's using length times width, okay? In this case, I use the 8 as the length and the 5 as the width, but it could be the other way around. It doesn't really matter. All right, so for B, 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, let's just double check to make sure that we've drawn our uh, rectangle properly. I should have 20 squares inside this uh, rectangle. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so 20 is correct. So that means that the smaller rectangle has an area of 20 centimeters squared. All right. Okay, so we have here a rectilinear shape which is basically a shape made up of rectangles and squares. And in our question here, uh, C, it says draw another shape with 20 whole squares, not necessarily rectangles. Well, the easiest way to do it is to uh, draw initially a, a shape with 10 squares, which I've done here, and then tack on another 10 squares uh, near the end. Now, when you're trying to find the area of this uh, type of shape, it's pretty easy because all you need to do is just uh, cut the shape in, into two or more uh, rectangles and then work out the, uh, the area for each and then add them together. 
So obviously we've got two squares here. Okay, so we have two uh, squares and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares along here. So there's seven. All right. And then we have two along here again. And we have three along here. All right. And we'll call this A and we'll call this B. So if we calculate the area of uh, the area of A, well, that's just going to be uh, 3 times 2, which is going to be 6 centimeters squared. And the area of B is simply going to be 2 times 7. Okay, which is going to be 14 centimeters squared. All right, and then you just simply add them up. So you're going to add up 6 centimeters squared and 14 centimeters squared. Just doing it in our head, it would be 20 centimeters squared. All right, so this again is a rectilinear shape, uh, and uh, you need to remember that a rectilinear shape is a shape that's made up of uh, rectangles and squares, but it's usually pretty easy to work out uh, the total area of the shape as long as you break the shape up into, as I did here, separate rectangles or squares. Okay, I hope this has been helpful to you. Good luck.